Hello, and we are start. well, first of all, welcome to this week's vlog, and we are starting it off in my living room on Sunday. It's Sunday evening, in fact, it is 10 to 2 a.m. in the morning, and I've just had confirmation um, from Lady Buckingham, my amazing moderator, who sent me the lovely um, Canadian maple leaf, if you remember from last week's vlog, and the poop. <laughs> um, so I've just had confirmation that I can indeed open the birthday card early. So I'm going to do that now, um, because I want to, and I'm excited. So, oh, by the way, she makes the most wonderful handmade cards. Oh, it is. It, oh my, that's stunning. She really does make the best cards. Look, look at that. That is crafting at its best. That is absolutely amazing. And on the back it says, handmade by Dawn. Look, I love the little stamp. Can you see? Um, that is adorable. That is so good. Happy birthday. I love the colours. All that lovely blue and the little stones. A bit of sparkle. And there's a lovely little letter inside which I'm going to read in private because it's private. Uh, but look at the card. That is just fantastic. Um, I am so happy with that. Thank you. It's going to have to stay up now until my birthday, August the 4th. Same day as Megan's and same as the late Queen Mother. Thank you so, so much. That is amazing. I love it. Mwah! Hello and welcome to Monday morning. I am outside in the sun. It is really sunny. I have my hat on. I have my, my cup of coffee down here. And it is just really, really sunny. Look at the background. Look at the sky. If I just look up. Wow. It's gorgeous. It really is gorgeous here. Um, so I just thought I'd have a little, have a little walk round. Um, I have my hat on, there we go, my beautiful, my beautiful hat, my Panama hat, and it's just glorious. The cats are out somewhere, all about, look, ah, uh, Molly's down here. Molly's, I think that's where she goes for her toilet. Yes, we'll, we'll leave her to, you know, do her business in peace, I think, but it's just, it's gorgeous, it's nice to be, it's good to be alive. Let's put it that way. Um, it's just so nice. And and yes, I'm just uh, waking up with my coffee. And what have I got planned for today? I think, let's, let's sit by the roses and get some roses in shot. Um, what am I going to do today? I am going to go to the gym. I think it's chest day. I've got to go to the shops and get a few things. Um, and, then, and then work. So there we go. Um, a full day ahead. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Okay, I've just turned the hose on. Look at it expanding. And I'm gonna do some watering because everything's really, really dry. <laughs> Look at the hose. There we go, right, it's almost fully expanded. And let's do some watering. Okay, so the garden is watered. Everything's watered. I did all the borders and everywhere uh, because I thought it was looking a little bit dry. Um, I've done some pruning as well on the roses, so yes, everything's just looking really, really nice and watered. So there we go. Right, time to get ready and start the day. Okay, so I'm on the Sainsbury's car park. I haven't gone in yet, and then I've got the gym. Um, but one thing I did want to tell you, I don't know, I've got to worry. Okay, I've got to worry. So last night, I was just thinking back to September. Do you remember when I had my horrible bout of tonsillitis that was just horrendous that lasted forever and made me really ill well I thought to myself you know the back of my throat at the time was all like discolored and just gunky and horrible so I just thought oh whilst I'm in the bathroom I'll get my phone camera not the camera the torch shine it in the back because of course when you're just looking in your mouth like this you can't see anything um, it just looks normal you can only really see at the back of your throat when you've got a light so I shone the torch in and I just thought Hmm, still looks a little bit discoloured, like literally 10 months on, um, and it probably shouldn't do. So of course then, me being me goes and Googles, don't I, all the possibilities of what it could be. And there were some horrendous things that Google spewed up in my face. So I was reading them before bed, which wasn't a good idea, and of course one of them is the dreaded C. Yeah, so... I just thought, oh no, I need to just book in. So I, I rang this morning. By the way, it's probably nothing. It's probably just me. 
Um, but I rang this morning and the lady, the receptionist, did ask me, you know, is it routine? I said, well, I don't know. I mean, you know, I've got this, this discoloration that I think I've got and it's been like 10 months since my last tonsillitis. So she got me in with a nurse. So it's not the doctor, but it's the nurse. But at least I'm being seen by someone today at 3.30. So I'm going to go to Sainsbury's, go to the gym, go home, get showered, go to the doctor. Well, the nurse. Uh, because I'm sure if there's anything that she is concerned about, she will get the actual doctor because they're there. So, so yes, uh, just a worry. But, but hey, it's probably nothing. It's probably just me. Anyway, onwards. I'm back. So let's take a look in the bag. So the grand total of this bag came to £9.85. And on the top, we have at Jason's request some cake. Uh, these are six iced berry cakes with different different toppings. Uh, we have my two protein yogurts, the obligatory lemon drizzle, yes I know, there it is. And we have two tuna and sweet corn sandwiches and a refill bottle of antibacterial hand wash because I've run out. So yes, that's the contents of my bag. I'm back out of the doctors. I'm not going to die. Yay! Oh, I was over-exaggerating. I was worrying for nothing. It's normal. Um, she said there is like little bits of white bits, but it's tonsil stones. Um, so I'm okay. I'm not going to die. She said I was normal. Well, I mean, I'm not normal, but you know what I mean? I'm normal. Oh, I'm not going to die. <laughs> Yay! Oh, I'm so happy. I was so worried last night when I thought, when I was reading about throat cancer and all that business. I'm so happy. Let's go home. Let's go home to the comfort of my babies. I need my babies for comfort. Ah, oh, yes, and lemon drizzle. I'm going to celebrate my life. I'm going to celebrate my life with some lemon drizzle. Yay. My babies. Daddy's not going to die. Come here. Oh, I'm not going to die. I'm not. I can be your daddy forever and ever and ever. I can be your daddy forever and ever and ever. Rory, come give me cuddles. I want Rory cuddles. Rory. Rory, I'll be your daddy too forever and ever. Ah, <sighs> oh, yes. They seem most unconcerned. <laughs> Hello. Where's my food? Okay, so I don't know if you can make it out, but if I zoom in, you can just see the partial lunar eclipse. It's just gone out of focus. Okay, can you just see the partial lunar eclipse? It's that little orange thing in the sky. There we go. Okay, so I'm just upstairs in my window and I've just literally watched it eclipse. Um, so it may emerge again very soon, I don't know, but it has totally eclipsed. And it's just starting to appear again. I've just turned the camera back on. And if I leave it a little bit, you may see, you probably just can't see because it's really, really dark. But it is just starting to emerge again. Hello, and I've literally just got up and I haven't done my hair or anything, but I've come to my P.O. Box address because I had two parcels that I ordered, which I missed, which have gone, obviously, to this sorting office. And also, I checked my box and look, my goodness, I've got a whole pile of things to open, two of which are mine. So, um, so yes, I will, I will be opening these this week. So, um, if you sent me something to my P.O. Box address, thank you so much and don't worry. It's probably got here, so thank you so, so much. Yay! Okay, people, so I've just cut off. Do you remember the, the cucumber that was growing into the into the um, pot? Well, I've just cut it off, and oh my goodness, wait till you see it. Uh, get ready. <laughs> Are you ready? Ta-da! Oh my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> Look at it. Oh my goodness, I'm just going to do a zoom. <laughs> anyone for cucumber? Cucumber anyone? No, <laughs> it's very large. I mean, it will be 
it might do very good because my dad makes some green Thai curries. So I think once it's all chopped up, that will be good in a green Thai curry. And we have some more coming up. But look at that beauty. My goodness. In fact, I'm, I'm going to take it down now and give it to my mom. Whew. Yes. Anyone for cucumber? And it's time to water again. Hose on. Hello, Rory, looking at the hose. No, it is not a giant snake. It is the hose. <laughs> Let's just stand back and watch it. There we go. Ah, my expandable hose, which is actually very good. It is a bit of a space saver. So there we go, look. Let's wait till it finishes twitching. Because everything looks dry. We have had no rain and quite a lot of heat and sun for a while. Come on, hose. There we go. It's nearly there. Uh, so I need to rehydrate everything, fill up my water buckets in the greenhouse. There you go, Rory, it's over. Nearly? Yes, it's full. Right, let's get watering. Do you think somebody wants my tuna sandwich? Hello, Molly. Hello, and it is Thursday. I can't remember if I showed you the rose on my on my archway, but it is out, and we do have some more some more roses out and some buds which look like they are going to to flower any moment. So that is doing okay. And also, I've had to do some heavy pruning on my pot roses because. Um, some of the older roses that have been there a while were coming to the end, so I've had to prune those so that some new roses will come through. Um, and oh, and also, yes, um, look down here, the rose that was buried in the meadow. It's flowered, look. My goodness, look at that. It's called, it's a lovely, pretty white rose. And there's another one over there as well. Um, so I've kind of tied these back because it rained and they all flopped again. So I've tied them back and hopefully that will get some light and grow. Now, I'm hoping. And my sweet peas are absolutely delicious. They smell delicious. Look at those gorgeous sweet peas. I have been picking them and the more you pick sweet peas, the more they come. So um, definitely pick your sweet peas. Hello, Molly. Hello, sweetie. Gorgeous girl. Um, and I showed you that big massive cucumber, didn't I? I think I did. Um, yeah, so it's all looking not too bad. Now the meadow is just, <laughs> it's just enormous. Uh, it really is just enormous. Um, and it, it's, it's beginning to resemble like a real, real meadow. It's just the way it's kind of spread out and you know, where the rains come, some of it's flopped and some of it's, you know, gone over and some of it's, you know, it, it just looks like a real meadow. Rory, hello. What are you doing? Are you trying to get in there? You can't. You can't fit through that gap, mister. You're too big. What are you doing? No one's in there. Hello, can you see me over here? Rory. Ah, oh, he's engrossed. Engrossed, I tell you. Hello. Come on down. What are you doing on there? You silly. Silly boy. Uh, the tomatoes, we have, we have had some. My mum's picked some. We have some more ripening over here, which look really, really good. Cucumbers, again, we have uh, lots, of, lots of these little snack cucumbers. And for some reason, I don't know why, but the ones in the hanging baskets are taking a while to ripen. And they're the highest. They're the highest, closest to the sun. So I'm not quite sure why that is. They don't normally, they normally ripen a bit quicker. So I'm not entirely sure why that is. I'm a bit perplexed. Um, and that's kind of it for a garden update, really, I think. Um, oh, by the way, um, it is this week where the children break up in schools in the UK, uh, mostly, I think, for the six weeks summer holiday. So lots of uh, children are obviously gearing up for the summer holidays, the summer break. So that will be, that will be nice for them. Um, so expect lots of children noise in my vlogs, in the gardens, from, prob from probably now on. Um, so yes, summer is most definitely here in the UK.
Okay, so I have no idea why, but it's 12 a.m. on Friday night. Uh, rather, 12 a.m. it should actually be Saturday. Sat very early in the hours of Saturday. Um, I was hungry, so I decided to do a midnight snack of a large Yorkshire pudding. Um, and I just really fancied some veg. So I've got some veg and I filled it with gravy. So that's what I'm having for a snack. Um, yeah, don't hate me. I've been working very hard in the gym. Um, so there we go. I'm going to go and eat it now because I'm starving. Lemon drizzle cake. And yes, that is not three slices. It is actually one slice cut into three. Hi, Rupert. Oh, you've got our fish and chips? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Saturday evening and I am eating tonight uh, my dad's pie green curry, which I like. And it's got chicken and bits of cucumber from the garden. The, the cucumber bits in here are from the garden, from the greenhouse. And I have some potato wedges and I, I like mayonnaise with it as well. I know it's probably unconventional, but I do. And the juice is delicious. Um, it's almost like, I don't know, like Thai green soup as well. It's gorgeous. So um, I'm going to eat that now. Hello and welcome to Sunday morning. Um, I have my drink uh, in my crown cup, as you can see there. And I'm with the lovely Molly. And we have a Rory in the background trying to drink from the fountain where he's just pushed Molly out of the way because she was drinking in the fountain. Yes, that's how it works here. Isn't it, Molly? Yes. Um, so, yes, it's Sunday and, I don't know, last night I started to feel a bit sniffly around the nose area. So I don't know if I'm coming down with a cold or not. I don't know. But anyway, I had lots of fruit last night. I've taken, you know, some vitamins just to see if it'll help. But yes, I, I could be coming down with a little bit of a sniffle. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's not terrible. <laughs> um, I don't feel like really, I don't feel really bunged up or anything like that. But, you know, I do feel a little bit sniffly. Hello, Mrs. In the Sunshine. Yes. Looking gorgeous. Good girl. Your tongue out. What are you doing with your tongue? Hello. What are you doing? Having a good rub and a good dusty bath. Yes, cats do like dusty baths, not just chinchillas. And where are you? Hello. Oh, and here is the star of the Lion King. It is Rory. Hello, having a good hot drink. Now, I just filled up his water bowl in the house, but go figure, he prefers the bird bath. Rory, that is for birds. I know you don't care. <laughs> hey, what have you seen? Good boy. Come on then. Where are you off to? Just, just off in general. Hello, what's going on here? They've just sniffed each other. Hello, gorgeouses. Yeah. Hello. It's the Lion King. Hello. On Pride Rock. From the day we arrived on the planet And blinking step into the sun There's more to see than can ever be seen hmm. Comfy Hi Brian how are you doing? I've just caught him coming out of the house. Yes, and Rory's in the house. So Rory must have brought him back. 
Um, and there he is. Hello, Brian. Hey, gorgeous. Hello, sweetie. What are you doing? Hello. Come on, Mr. Brian. Oh. Hello. You are a clever cookie, aren't you? Oh my goodness, I've literally just come up the garden and I put the door to and um, Brian has managed to push the door open slightly and he's there now trying to get in. This is what he does, he's a very clever cat. Look, hello Brian, are you trying to push my door? Hello, trying to get in, yes. Stand down, mister. <laughs> he is one clever cookie. Seriously. Hello. You are one clever cookie. I know. Right, am I going to have to make sure this door is shut properly? I think I am, aren't I? Yes. Okay, so let, let me show you what I did. So I had the door like this. But I had it like this, like that. And what he's done, he's pushed it like that. He is one clever cat. I'm going to make sure it's shut properly, properly. And this one here, Mr. Rory, just lets them do it, don't you? Because you like cats, cat friends. Yes. Right. Why don't you go and play with Brian? Where have you gone? Hello. Oh great, and now there is one of those green spiders again. Was it a cucumber spider or something someone said last week? Moved in on my rose. Yes, I'm not feeling that one. I don't think I want a cucumber spider on my rose. Oh no, look, it's a little bee. And he's caught in a spider's web and I think he's still twitching. So, I think I'm going to try and free the bee. Let me get a little stick. Hang on. Okay, well I've freed the bee. I've got him off the, um, off the plant. But I think it may be too late. I mean, at least he won't be eaten by a spider. But I think it may be a little bit too late. His legs look very damaged. He's still twitching, but... Um, oh, the poor thing. He looks exhausted. I don't, I don't know if it's because he's just really exhausted or what, I don't know, but I don't think he's going to make it. Just thought I'd show you the sky as well because it's still quite humid and hot, um, but it's very overcast and cloudy. And so yeah, that's, that's the sky today. Let's also take a moment to appreciate this rose. Do you remember when it was just a bare stump? Well, look now, I've had to tie it in extra. Because look, <laughs> wow. Um, yes, it's gone all the way up to here. In fact, I may even have to tie it in again. I tied it in yesterday and it seems like it's grown again, literally overnight. So we're now up to, up to here. Um, so yes, definitely, I think, I think next year that will probably be all the way at the top starting to go over the pergola so that is a really really good achievement as well and since the meadow is started to thin out yes the meadow has finally started to thin out a bit um with some things obviously dying back uh, the fox gloves are turning to seed so all these little pods here will be full of seed so there you go um i'll be able to save the seed and like i say this rose here is now a lot more visible so it's getting more light so hopefully it will have a better chance of growing for the final part of the season. There's been lots of planes going over this morning. Um, obviously Sunday a very popular private flying day. There we go. And we have another one. They keep coming. Um, 
fact, I'm not even sure if there might be um, an air show on or not. I don't know, but there does seem to be a rather a lot of them going over. Which is nice to look at. I, I like looking at the planes. Um, it is nice to look at and hear the sounds of. everybody and welcome to the final segment of today's vlog but it is not least because I have some openings to do I went to my PO box address as you know and I picked up some things and or I'm not sure whether I did did I show you the things I may have done and um, if I didn't I went to my PO box address and um, I've got some things to open so I'm just gonna get my scissors just before I start in case I need to get into any packaging. We have the scissors. I'm wearing my pink tailored athlete shirt, for those of you who want to know. Um, but let's just delve in. So, oh, there's also one thing that I bought for myself as well. So shall I start with that one? Uh, yes, I'm gonna start with the one that I bought for myself. So I know what this is, but I haven't opened it and looked. So those of you who remember a while ago, I, I did um, an opening of some underwear, which I bought. I was trying to replace a style uh, by Calvin Klein, which which they stopped making, and I wanted to find an alternative. So I bought three new styles, um, hoping that one of them would be really, really good. And one of them was, but the website I had them from um, had them at full price for ages and ages. I was waiting for them to be on sale to get more. But the website I had them from are actually changing. So they had a sale, but they only had the dark pair, um, they only had one in stock, so I bought the one, and then I bought white in the other two. So these are the ones that I liked. They were the Calvin Klein customized stretch, and no, you don't get him free. He doesn't come with them, he, does, he doesn't deliver them, um, and no, I do not look like that in them. But anyway, they are really, really comfortable. And so I've got one pair in the black, and I have two pairs in the white. Um, so there we go, at least I have three new pairs that I know fit really, really well. And if you're interested, the website is actually Bang and Strike, but they are having a redesign and they are having a relaunch, which I don't know if they're changing name or I don't know what the new site will look like, what the new stock will be like, but, but hey, there you go. Um, they are changing, don't know what to, but I really do like the Calvin Klein underwear and they came really, really quick as well, so. Um, so yes, a good service and good quality selection of underwear. Now let's go straight to my mail. Now this one I accidentally almost opened and I saw that it was something I hadn't ordered. Um, so I stopped because it's just got my name on it and I thought, hmm, is it something important to do with, you know, <laughs> you know, household bills or something? Anyway, it wasn't. It was, it was a photo. And I haven't looked at the photo, I just realised it was a photo, so I put it back ready for opening. So I'm going to do that now. Let's pull it out and see. Um, by the way, I don't know who this is from because there's, no, there's nothing inside. Ah! I'm, I'm seeing it in the reflection uh, of the camera. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's Hyacinth and Richard. Look, and they're on a cruise. This is the episode when they were on the cruise ship. They were on the QE2. Now, by the way, those of you who love cruising, um, who may not be who may not be acquainted with the lovely Hyacinth Bouquet, spelt bucket, pronounced bouquet, and Richard, uh, notice the hat. Anything similar about the hat? Yes, I have the hat. Um, they were in a show in the 90s in the UK, a very famous sitcom called Keeping Up Appearances. And they did a Christmas special where they went on the QE2 and it was just amazing. So there you are. This photo is just amazing. Um, thank you so, so much, whoever it was who got this. And there is nothing in here to tell me who, who got it. So I need to find a frame for this one because it's, it's truly stunning. And it's my favorite episode of Keeping Up Appearances. Um, so whoever you are, do make yourself known, uh, but just know that I am incredibly thankful. So thank you so, so much. Mwah! Okay, and the next item. Now this one is kind of intriguing to me because it feels like it's in bubble wrap 
and it has um, it says it's from China and it's got hair jewellery written on it. Now, hair jewellery, does that mean tiara? I don't know. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. I haven't ordered this, so it's it's from one of you guys. Uh, again, unless there's anything inside. Um, I'm, look, I'm looking to see if there's anything inside. No. Then I don't know who it's from. So before I go, before I delve into it, I just want to say a really big thank you. And again, please do make yourself known, and then I'll be able to. Um, and then I'll be able to say thank you to you personally. I'm just looking on the package to see if there's any clues to name. Uh, last time I had something like, something like this, it, it was from a Mr. Huang, um, but it, it wasn't obviously sent by a Mr. Huang. So, again, no, I can't see anything. Um, not, e not even a Mr. Huang. So, let's delve in. I'm going to use my scissors for this. I'm going to just go in and cut the tape. And okay, see what happens. Let's have a look. Ooh, oh, ooh, this looks. Oh, this is different. Okay, I'm, I'm not in it yet. Let me just cut. Let me cut the packaging. Oh wow. Okay, so then the packet. Now this is really, 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 really different. Oh wow, this is very autumnal. I love the colours. This is really. It, it's not a royal replica. But, not that I'm aware of anyway, um, but it's gorgeous. It's very, um, very Shakespeare, um, oh, what's the play? Um, the one with Tatiana, Tatiana in the forest where, where the, he turns into a donkey. Uh, that one, it's very that. Wow, look, that is adorable. Wow, okay, that is amazing. In fact, it will probably, if I fit it on, it will probably fit, actually. Wow. Oh, look at that one. That, oh, that's beautiful. That will be incredible in the autumn. It really will. Wow. Thank you so, so much. Whoever you are, make yourself known. Um, now I need to put this down really carefully. So I'm gonna put it slightly back in the bubble wrap and put it on top on top of my packet of underwear. Um, so again, thank you so, so much, that is amazing. I also have a big box. Um, so this is a big box and I can see already who it's from because it's got a little um, sticker on it. So it's from Kelly Branch. So thank you so, so much in advance, Kelly, for, for whatever is inside, but let's go straight in. Kelly, you are too kind. Let's, let's go in with my scissors and cut the tape. Okay, well hey, what's in here? Lots of bubble wrap. Bubble wrap galore. Woo! Oh, ooh, what's this? Oh, look. Oh, look, it's another little crown. Look. Oh my god, right. Hang on, where's my scissors? Power. Now, I do have one very similar to this. But it is, it is a George IV diadem. Now, this one does look, I think, a little bigger than the one I've got previously. Because the one I've got previously, there was no wet, no. Uh, this one's not fitting either. I'm having a trouble with the George IV diadems. They don't fit. They're not big enough. So, I have a plan. Um, what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna need to buy a hairpiece to go in, in it, to go on, so that it will fit on a hairpiece. And then, and then I will hope, like a, like a big hair bun. You know the one that Serena Williams was wearing um, when she was drinking her cup of tea, you know? I want one of those. I can put it on my head and then it will stay on because otherwise I can't elasticate it because it's not tiara shaped. Um, so yeah, I need to have a bit of a think with these George IV diadems, I really do. Uh, but thank you, thank you so, so much. Oh, Kelly. A Princess Eugenie tiara. Hang on, oh, no. Again, um, I kind of have one. Um, thank you so, so much, that is so, so kind. Uh, I did receive one a few weeks ago. Um, in fact, I don't know when, when you sent this box. It may have been before I received the other one. Um, but let's see if it's the same. It could be the same one. Um, I think it is the same one. Yeah, it's the same one. So I have two. Um, I do indeed have two now. 
What am I going to do with two? Uh, maybe I could, well, I did say one of them I could wear as like a collar or a necklace. Um, but thank you so, so much, Kelly. I now have two. So what am I going to have to do with two? I'm thinking I may have to do a giveaway with one of them, seeing as I have two. But thank you so, so much. That is very kind and thoughtful. Ooh, Kelly. Now this one I do not have. And let's have a look. Oh my goodness, it says it is a royalty replica of the York Tiara, uh, crystal hair piece. Okay, um, I was going to say it looked familiar. Now I know why. Now this one, I definitely 100% do not have. Um, so thank you so, so much. Let's have a look. Oh, look, wow. It's, it is like a mini version. Uh, this is cool, and it does fit. So when, once I've elasticated it, oh, wow, look. I'm just catching a glimpse of it in the camera. Uh, wow. Oh, now I can be Sarah Ferguson. Oh, I can be the Duchess of York. Um, wow, that is incredible. Thank you so, so much. Kelly, you are amazing. Thank you. Let's, right, I'm running out of space to put tiaras. Um, thank you so much. Let's move the, move that. Now this one. Oh no, 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 there's two more. My goodness, Kelly, what have you done? Uh, now this one, I recognize this one. Again, I have this one. Um, this is the Lotus Flower Tiara and Kelly has sent some, some information about it. Uh, yeah, it is the same one. Uh, it is the replica of the Lotus Flower. So there we go. That's the information for that one. And I'm sure you've seen me wearing it on several occasions. But it is a gorgeous tiara and it fits beautifully. Uh, in fact, actually, I don't know whether this one fits better than the one I've got. It might do, actually. I'm going to have to compare. Um, so thank you. Thank you so, so much. Again, I'm running out of tiara room. Let's put them down very carefully. And this one. Oh, I know this one. I recognise this one. This is... Aquamarine tiara. So here we have the aquamarine tiara. And again, and it is incredible. Look, thank you so much. So I, I do now have, I think, um, some replicas. So Kelly, if you're, look, if you're watching, um, if any of them are exactly the same, do let me know if I, if I can possibly give away in, in a giveaway or I may just use these ones for display purposes, especially as I'm really, really thinking about changing my set. I spoke about this. In fact, actually, yeah. Um, so what I think I might do with the replicas is I am thinking about having a new, a new set, a new display. And when I do, I may put some of these on a wall behind me, on a, on a feature wall, um, maybe a shelf with with some of these tiaras in the background. So I'm thinking the duplicate ones I may just put on the wall behind me. So thank you so, so much. They are amazing. Kelly, thank you. Mwah. Oh, and there's a card I've just noticed. Um, let's, let's read the card as well. Have a look. Uh, oh, oh, look. Oh, that's adorable. Look. It's me with my tiaras. She's quite sure she's queen of something. Yes, I am quite sure I am queen of something. Oh, thank you. Have a great summer too. Oh, and Ke thank you. And Kelly has also said, um, I'll just read it a little bit. She says, hope these arrive safely. They did. Um, and you can use them perhaps as giveaways for your channel. Um, thank you. But I'm thinking display. Display or giveaway. I will decide, but thank you so, so much. And finally, I have another letter uh, with a little, a little crown monogram on it. Now this one I can see already is from Christine. So Christine, suck up, thank you so, so much. Let's break the seal and delve in. I don't want to run out of battery because it, was, it said I was, I was getting a little bit low. <laughs> so I'll try and be quite quick. Um, oh, look, it says, if I just show you first, Good life, great fun, all day, all yours. Let's have a look inside. Um, 
Dear Elliot, best wishes for a fab birthday. Love all you do for us. Uh, happy birthday from Christine. That is amazing. Thank you. Oh, wow. Um, do you know what? I, I've already opened. I had a card uh, from Dawn last week and it, it's on my side table. So I'm going to put all my early birthday cards on my side table. Uh, so thank you so, so much for being so kind and so forth. Okay, so I think this video is probably running quite long now, so I'm going to go ahead and close it. Um, I'll just quickly talk about the gym before I do. I managed to go five times a week, Monday to Friday, so I've had the weekend off to relax. My snuffly nose that I was speaking about earlier seems to have lifted so far, um, so that's not too bad. My parents are going away to Bulgaria. Um, on Tuesday. It's only going for a week, so that's not too bad. Um, but it does mean about an hour a day water in the garden, which is quite a lot, but never mind. If you have enjoyed today's vlog, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and also hit the notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. So from me in Shropshire, mwah, to you all, and goodbye. <laughs>